Hello everyone, this is Kieran and welcome to another battle. I apologise about Sunday's battle, it actually went out on the wrong day. Uh, I brought it out Saturday, it was a mistake. On my part, sorry I'm just having some angling issues here at the minute. So what we're doing is we're doing a battle today with uh, five, well, four tree men, including Durfu. Two great eagles and one forest dragon. Plus, I think around 30 units of uh, goblins. Just normal goblins, sorry, spinning. Uh, so, we're going to get into this. We're deployed basically. We're on the Kling's Glade map. Um, so, let's put the tests. It's on the eight magic, so winds of magic. That's not great, winds of magic. Um, I'm interested to see this dragon in action. Uh, I've watched a few of the battles, or I've been getting around to watching a few of the battles from like uh, Warrior of Sparta, Lionheart. They've done some big tests with these. Look at this spear line here. 30 units going to make it difficult. Uh, I'm not going to hold these, I'm just going to leave these here for now. Obviously, I'm going to speed this up because it's going to take us a little while, these slow moving units. Uh, the battle's supposedly in our favour. 8 vs 3,681 goblins. I know others have probably done bigger and harder tests, but I think that was something like 10 tree man against something like 6,000 goblins. So, we'll give it a go and we'll see just how these guys cope. I'm interested to see how Durfu does with that mighty amber sword is one pure sexy thing. Uh, what can he do? Um, spawns a manticore. I've never seen that one. Uh, don't have enough winds of magic, I don't think, anyway. Oh, it's gone up now. Uh, I've not got that selected. Hex, so it can uh, slow him down. Uh, increase our damage. Uh, this is a uh, flock of doom. The mighty below the spellcaster invokes Kuveros, the crow lord. Cool. Uh, wisdom welfare. So this is just a great army, and they're running. Obviously trying to entice us in. So we're going to send these into the fold. Let's get them in. Uh, um, I'm gonna try and use sort of my oops. Oh, yeah, nice little shot of this beast man tree man Let's have a look at that. That's cool uh, Sorry, I just got just my camera angle uh, So where's these are the two These guys are here that these are already engaged so uh, I'm also going to use the eagles to sort of just help them so they don't get too flocked and the dragon I should have hide foliage on and I don't know why that isn't working um, let's try and get some Durfu magic in Oh, he just spiked a few units there. So obviously the tree men, this should hold quite good. But it's how these eagles, eagles are going to do. I don't want them to get too mobbed. Same with the dragon. I think I'd rather just use them as support. But they've already routed one unit. So that's kind of cool. I want the eagles to pull out. Look at the speed she moves at. Does Durfu have any thought of um I don't know. Let's see what else he can do. Uh, using some magic crow. Let's 
to get a nice shot of this dragon in. It's a forest dragon. I don't have the best graphical settings, so it's not going to be stunning. <coughs> oh, I got under. I don't know why my under's that. I was under the map. Are any of these victories in our grasp already? What? Are you serious? So I'm going to bring these eagles in to help the Fu out. According to the map, they should have had a major advantage. Oops. But look at this damage these tree units, tree men do. Oh, this seagull unit's gone. You need to come back around again. Come on, take to the skies. Get these two go together again. They've obviously taken a lot. They're just going to keep coming back. That's going to be their advantage over us. And pull the forest dragon out. Come on, forest dragon. So how can the Fu old? We've got no winds of magic at the minute, so he's just basically got to do what damage he can. I want this forest dragon out. I don't want them to completely die just yet. Where's the goblin war boss? Because he's the one who's going to obviously argument them. There's a whole line over there that's not even been touched. Where's this goblin war boss? So I need one of these tree men here to get on this war boss because he's causing us problems. There's a whole line of troops just not even in this foray yet. Three units coming in now. I want this war boss crushed basically because he's gonna. He's the one argumenting. So he's in this battle now. Is it Skarsnik? We're fighting against I don't know. Alright, Goblin War Boss. If he breaks, we've got this. But he's obviously argumenting his troops. Doing what he should do. Oh, tree men. Now, I'm going to also quite try and test something else out today. Uh, I've seen a lot of people moaning about um, buffs of certain units, uh, the archers. So I'm going to have a go and test that out live on camera and see if we do. The war boss, he's fleeing. So we're wrecking these guys, which is good. Let's get Durfu over. They're obviously just going to keep rallying and coming back. But the more we can chase some of them off. I got a couple of small units here. Let's try and kill this unit off. There's not many of them left. Use one of the eagle units to beat him off. Durfu just covered in blood. Blood for the blood god. Uh, Durfu's just wrecking. Apologize if I keep going under. I don't know why that's happening again. Let's see where this war boss is. Again, he's causing us problems. So, click, we can add foliage here. 
see where is he gone? This war boss. Don't know. Durfu prevails again. I think we're gonna lose one of our eagles. Just keep the forest dragon just uh, holding some units off. Beating them back. His tree men are just beastly. Ten minutes into this, Durfu stands. Forest Dragon stands. And the Eagle now should really, yeah, just be the ones just uh, sort of picking these off. We've got one tree man branching out, some more units routing. Let's have a look. Let's bring Durfu and this. these are probably going to come back, but we'll try and just chase them off with the eagles. Use them for that. One solitary unit just running away there. We'll keep that part of our line going strong. Well, these three just tear into all these. We we'll use the eagles to just mop these away. Chase these units off. Alright, so Defu and the Forest Dragon have got some more dudes to deal with. Let's just have a look at the bodies. Of gobbles left in the wake of the tree men. Just epic. I love the animations these guys have got. Some of the kills look brilliant. Defu, you got a unit to go deal with. So these have gone now, they're gone. Oh, we've got the victory. Uh, we'll end it there because uh, there's no point just chasing them off. These guys are strong. Strong. Let's take a look at their stats, how, how they fared. So, 3,681 Night Goblins. With a Night Goblin War Boss. Uh, losses. 2011 we deployed of eight obviously and look at this look at that, the damage 335 uh, these were probably didn't really do that much damage we see he's supposed to sort of I think they're sort of like your cavalry units you gotta do charges with these bring them in and out and that seems how it plays for me 356 201 339 255 207 God, these beasts are just monstrous, monstrous beasts. Great fun to play as. Uh, thank you for watching. We'll be back with some more uh, Let's Plays later on in the week, obviously. We've got a Let's Play coming out tonight, which will be Shogun Total War 2. And we've also got a the Star Wars on Wednesday, and then some a Battle and Napoleon on Friday. And then, obviously... Um, no, actually, on Friday it will be... Um, the Durthu campaign, Grand Campaign, and uh, Napoleon Total War 2. Thank you for watching. Bye.